Hello there YouTube fans, it's me Jeremy Mansfield creating a Madden My Player and I was looking through all of the teams that could possibly be the best for a wide receiver that I'm going to be creating and the Green Bay Packers are the best because like strategic wise like I've known by making franchise of c controlling the team and whatnot that the Packers are the perfect fit because like Randall Cobb He's a decent overall with the 81, but like he's only got one year left and he's going to be out next year. So either way, if I didn't crack the top three, like the year after that, if I were to grind and get all these training checkpoints down and gaining XP from it to gain level up on my wide receiver that I would be able to take over his spot unless if the Packers resign him. However, this computer automatically does so I'm gonna create a wide receiver with the Green Bay Packers it's the best fit obviously with Aaron Rodgers being the QB and also being a partner with Devontae Adams start your season with recommended settings if you um, wish to I'm gonna goals, pick the preseason that way the I right. can gain some momentum going into the regular season I'm gonna do this right away before I forget I am NOT gonna pick instant starter because that is what I'm not here to do. I'm here to earn my winning spot, not here to get it right away. And also, might as well go back and switch. Because it's only going to be one side of the ball that you're going to be seeing. So, I'm going to make it realistic as possible, making it 15-minute quarters, starting at preseason, and also becoming a player. Now, I'm going to be on the offense. And out of these three selections of being a wide receiver, you got the deep threat, you got the slot, and you got the red zone threat. The red zone threat is out of it because literally all that does is make you more great when it comes to becoming a 20-yard or less wide receiver to the touchdown. A slot wide receiver is anywhere around the field, whether it be in the mesh, whether it be going downfield a little bit for a short route. That is a perfect wide receiver that I'm going to pick because also with the deep threat, all you're doing is you're good for streaks and maybe deep posts, and that's basically all you're good for. Where here, you're good at short mini stuff here and there, and also be willing to catch in traffic, which is a key thing because when it comes to wide receivers, they're going to get basically those hospital hits, which are very, very big dinger hits in the middle of the field. And that's what I'm going to want to be prevented of my guy be able to catch the ball and not drop the ball. And so that's what I want. And also speed because then I can break away from those linebackers and those safeties and those corners to potentially break into open field out of these I'm not going to become an undrafted because then I'm going to have to wait a year or two to eventually uh, become on a squad well I'll be on a maybe be on a squad or on a practice squad but I don't want to be undrafted and I don't want to be a late round because I don't want to be in the 70s overall and have quick development and also be lower skill ratings with lower awareness where if I'm in the 80s I will be up there with Randall Cobb and Devontae Adams to be on the starting core of the wide receiver and help with the younger ones as I'm also a young one myself so then I'll have higher expectations, average physical skills, I'll have quick development, I'll be a first to third rounder possibly, and a higher initial rating. So I am picking that. I am going to fill my name. At least my first name. My last name. I'm going to be number one and I'm going to pick a school close to home that 
makes sense. I'm going to pick Wisconsin Oshkosh. I'm going to become a 6'2", so I'm going to be a little taller. I'm going to be 200 pounds. I'm going to be 20 years old. I'm going to keep that skin tone and keep that face. Uh, arm size, I put that to a 2. I put thigh to a 3, calf to a 3. That's all I do physically because I don't want to gain too much muscle because I need speed. This, I like the flex. And then I go to the robot. I like smoke visor. Pad, none, none. I like sleeveless because it imitates to my high school days. And then we are going to do quarter team color sleeve. Team color. And I like the Under Armour spotlight primaries because those look sick um, Nike Nike none on that low under armor highlight like I like it this is what my player is going to be looking like on the field and that's going to be epic sick and we are in 83 83 overall with a 94 speed, 96 acceleration, agility at a 96, a 70 at a strength, awareness at a 75, a carry carrying at 78, a BC vision at 82, 85 for a brake tackle, 75 for trucking, stiff arm at 65, elusiveness at 75, spin move at 85, juke move at 88, catching at 85, catching in traffic at an 88, spectacular catch at an 80, short route running at 88, medium route running at 84, deep route at 79, release at 70, jump in at 83, and then you got like your quarterback stuff, and then you got with some pass blocking weak but when it comes to run blocking at a 68 and everything in the mid 40s and then you got with the uh, kicking and uh, tackling or not the greatest and then you got a 99 kick punt return and then you got a 99 toughness 99 injury and 95 stamina now that is crazy for a wide receiver we are going to accept that there we go it's going to start our league start your week by installing your game plan and off camera i'm going to be doing the start weekly trainings and then we're going to look at the depth chart to see where i am i will be at the second spot so like I said with Devontae at 92, 83, 81, 75, 74, 71 for the others with Geronimo Allison, Scantling, and St. Brown. And we're going to be looking at the future of what will possibly be if we're going to be here for a while. And we're looking at all the wide receivers. Right now, Devontae Adams got four. So he'll be here for as long as I'm here because I got a three-year contract. Randall Cobb's going to be on his way out. Geronimo Allison, if he stays on the team after the preseason, will be on his way out. Scantling with a four-year. St. Brown with a four-year. Kumaro with a one-year deal. If he makes it to the team, Trevor Davis with a two-year. Jamon Moore with a four year and then Alan Lazard with a one year and that is going to be crazy and mine increases steadily from after this year it's going to increase by two hundred and twenty thousand dollars two hundred and twenty hundred thousand dollars to be exact and then from that it's going to go up like four hundred thousand dollars 
to be at 1.28 million salary and then we'll see if I stay with the team after that or if I trade after the first year or after two years who knows this will be a fun fun series to go through since now I am going to be playing as a wide receiver I have 520 500 or no 5,000 5,220 XP to gain to the next spot. Hopefully I'll get there before the end of the preseason because obviously with the first game, you play the first quarter. The second game, you play the second quarter. The third, you play the third and the fourth. Sometimes they make you play majority of the game and sometimes they make you play only a quarter and then the rest of it is history. And then we play the Chicago Bears for the first week of the season. And that's always our arch rival. And then after that with another arch rival, the Minnesota Vikings on week two. Well, I hope you stay positive and stay healthy throughout this hard times. And hopefully we'll get together to soon as we work together to beat this coronavirus. Hopefully you're having a great rest of your day and peace out.